Hello, and welcome back to Frank's School on the 32nd day of the third year. Um, we're back on the road. Shirley and I are back on the road uh, in, in this video. We have been in near uh, and, and in Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, Spain, uh, but now the return begins. <clears throat> we actually made a wrong turn uh, more than once, or at least once. We headed uh, north out of Santiago toward, uh, oh, what's that called, Coruña, and uh, that, that set us back about an hour that day. And partly because before we could get turned around and going in the right direction, this was on a super highway and there weren't many exits. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that uh, I missed uh, at least one of the things I wanted to see, but that was okay. Um, the return begins. We're, we're, we've not, we're now on our way back to uh, Lisbon and ultimately home. The, uh, the high water mark is passed. Here are a list of <clears throat> cities, uh, well, cities, sort of small cities and tiny towns. Uh, if you wanted to go on Google Earth, or if you had a class of students and you wanted to trace the, the, the route that we took, Orense, we didn't actually go into Orense, but that was the direction we went. Melgaso uh, was where we crossed into, uh, back into Portugal. Gavião, Alcobaça. Portalinha, Fronteira, de Ameixoeira, <laughs> Ameixoeira, you probably, that would probably take some practice to say that, this is Portuguese, <clears throat> Lindoso, and Epo, Eposenda, Eposenda is at the shore, uh, Eposenda, uh, Eposenda, Eposenda, uh, it, that's at the shore, and you don't actually see it, but that's where we stayed, this was a long trip, uh, uh, you know, we had to sort of hurry to get back. We we only had one more day to get back to Lisbon. Uh, Lindoso <clears throat> is where um, is where uh, I had wanted I had wanted to see Lindoso. And if we had had a, another hour, we probably would have gone in there. But as I told Shirley at that point, I had seen enough. It was okay. I was satisfied with what I had seen. Uh, we might have taken a wrong turn at Milgaso. I'm not sure. As a matter of fact, I have some suspicion that we went into Spain by accident and came back into Portugal, but I'm not sure about that. I'll, someday I'll study it more. Uh, <clears throat> but we, one of the things we missed was Nossa Senhora de Peneda. That, that's another one of those Baroque staircases. Uh, it's a pilgrimage site high in the mountains. It would be in the same category, in a way, as Lamego and uh, and uh, 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 Bon Jesus de Monge. But I'm not so sure it had the same water. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that'll have to be some other year or some other trip if I ever see it. Um, drill hose. What I meant by that is if you, if you would pause or if you'd notice, there's one place where the granite in the retaining wall, the drill holes are going this way. You can see them where that was taken out of, of, the, uh, of the mountainside. You can see how that was split off. And it's unusual that they would have them like that, but I think it's because it's a, it's a more modern built uh, retaining wall. <clears throat> Those drill holes probably made with uh, a power hammer. Pausing. I paused a lot as I looked at this to get ready to, to talk to you. Uh, now, uh, I'm using this number 720, is it pixels? I'm not sure. Shirley and her husband, Thomas especially, convinced me that I needed to, to do it in higher quality. Because if you pause, that way you can see the details. And so, it takes longer to upload, but I, I have uh, obeyed them. <clears throat> terracing, you'll see lots of terracing. I'm very fond of terracing. I think that's the right thing to do with uh, slopes. Mountainside certainly, but slopes. Sheep and cows going to pasture. At one point we were going along and they were pretty clearly on their way to their daily pasture with their shepherd or shepherdess. A woman was accompanying them. And then uh, these are just things to notice. The penstock, I mention it. Uh, this is toward the end. You can see uh, a double penstock out of steel. And what I found was so curious in a way is above the penstock where the water was held uh, before it, it went down. That is exactly analogous to what was in uh, uh, Picon and Ufalon, where the water 
uh, was was held above the mill. But of course, this is above a big pencil. Uh, well, <clears throat> this is a road trip. Um, a lot, you know, you're seeing lots of views. I'm kind of 15 minutes long. Uh, I have no idea how interesting it'll be uh, for you. Uh, it was through the mountains. I mean, we. I wanted to see what does it look like up in those mountains. Uh, another time, if I would ever go there, I think I would not be quite so far east in the mountains, but I would try to stay on the west westerly uh, slopes of those mountains, but still stay in the mountains. Okay, uh, see you next time.